sent in the corny drive through at gmail.com from Daniel O'Connor in County Limerick, Ireland. Hi, Jim. I was listening to Scott Hall talking about a WWF show he did in the 1990s in Calgary after the show, Bret Hart invited a lot of the wrestlers over to his house. Scott Hall thought this was a really great gesture by Bret. Bret gave Scott Hall a guided tour of the house, and in every room there was a picture of Bret in his wrestling gear. When Bret brought brought Scott to his bedroom, there was a huge picture of Brett over the bed where Brett slept with his wife. Scott left the house thinking that Brett was the biggest mark for himself in the wrestling business. Jim Cornette, were you ever invited to Brett's house? <laughs> and if you were invited, can you confirm Brett the Hitman Hart has a picture of himself in every room and a huge picture of himself above his bed? I, I will. First of all, no, I cannot confirm that because I've only been to Calgary, Alberta, Canada, one time in my entire life. And that was the, what was it, the uh, it, uh, Stampede pay-per-view in 97. Yeah, Calgary Stampede. Calgary Stampede. I was trying to say International Stampede. The Calgary Stampede pay-per-view in 97 and uh, drove immediately after that to Edmonton where we were doing Raw the next night. So I w- was only in Calgary one night, never invited to Bret Hart's house. By the way, it's freaky fucking weird weather up there. It was 10 o'clock at night and broad daylight and people out working in the fucking fields on the farms in between Calgary and Edmonton at 10 o'clock at night. I've never seen anything like it. It was fucking strange. Anyway, um, I cannot, you know, (laughs) I can believe that Brett probably has a few pictures up. uh, But once again, it's Scott Hall, so take the story and possibly wrestlers uh exaggeration take story with a with a grain of salt but um i i i mean i have tons of pictures of me up in my office uh because it's my office but there are no pictures of myself up except with family in any other rooms of the house so i you know it's kind of the the theme is other rooms have their their other themes but uh i you know you would be a little excessive if you had a picture of yourself in your gimmick in every room of your house what is the oddest thing you've seen in a wrestler's home oh god i mean you know not i'm trying to think of Odd stuff. I mean, I haven't been to a lot of guys' houses that would that would have the odd stuff. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a, not exactly. I mean, I'm sure if we went to David Schultz's compound down there in Tennessee, we'd find some interesting things. Uh, there was always some type of workout equipment uh, of of various kinds. Uh, uh, sometimes furniture, sometimes not. Um. What was Jake's house like when you went there in 94? It was a normal house in suburban Atlanta. Didn't seem odd at all. I mean, I didn't go poking in his goddamn bedroom closet, but from what I was in, it was a nice suburban home, well, fairly well kept and up to date, which he obviously got with money he made from Vince because he wasn't making enough money to live there at that particular point in his life. All right. Well, I guess we don't have any real conclusion. I this. don't really have any conclusion. I have no, I have no go home for this bit. So I will take a small bow. Can Thank you believe you. that Bret Hart would do this when have pictures of himself all over? I can't. De- I well, I'm. That's why I'm saying I can't denounce this story. I, you know, it, it, I can't denounce it. Is what I'm saying. It is Scott Hall, and maybe a little exaggeration. Maybe not every room, but I think there's a, the the grain of truth is that probably most rooms did indeed have a picture of Brett in his gimmick. This is one of those things you hear about Brett from some of those guys like Scott Hall. I'm a big Brett fan, but what do you think about the argument that Brett took himself too seriously and was a mark for himself? Well, I've even I've even said that before in some cases that Brett took, I don't, I didn't say Mark for himself, but took himself too serious. He didn't take the business too seriously. I always appreciated the seriousness with which he approached the wrestling business, which was passed down to him by his dad and his, his older brothers. Um, every once in a while, I wish he could have lightened up about himself. Uh, but, but I'd rather somebody, you know, in hindsight, err on that side than these fucking jack offs that don't take, 
themselves or the business or anything else seriously. And I think that's how, you know, with Brett and Sean, it was oil and water because Brett took his business seriously and took what he was involved in seriously. And Sean Michaels was just jacking off and didn't give a fuck uh, about anything. So they just, you know, that was going to happen. But I'd rather take the guy taking himself seriously these days than it's gone so far in the other direction. 